Here we can see a Schuttkrieg machine in the Hagerbach Test Gallery in Switzerland, a leading research centre for tunnel construction practices. Fibre reinforced Schuttkrieg is being applied to the surface and some test pallets. The finished surface follows the contours of the bedrock and is very uneven. If we look in detail at the surface you can see how rough it is. You may think it would be impossible or very difficult to carry out non-destructive testing on such a surface. But as we can see here, it can be done quite simply. The ProSec Pundit Live Array Pro ultrasonic pulse echo instrument requires only access from a single side. And we can easily measure the back wall echoes that allow us to calculate the pulse velocity. In order to see what makes this possible, let's take a closer look at the Pundit Live Array Pro transducer. As you can see, each individual transducer element is sprung independently. This allows it to adapt itself to surface variations such as those produced by Shotcrete. In addition to this, its compact size, 21 centimeters wide, means it is also able to cope with the contours of the tunnel wall. A wider instrument would have difficulty here. So now let's look at what kind of results it produces. Here we can see pulse velocity measurements made in the test pallets at 7 days and 28 days. As you can see, there is a marked increase in the pulse velocity as the concrete cures. Having calibrated the pulse velocity, we can measure directly on the tunnel lining to estimate the thickness of the shotcrete layer. This information is very useful to contractors or inspectors who wish to determine the volume of concrete that has been applied to the tunnel wall. So in conclusion, ultrasonic pulse echo measurements made with Pundit Live Array Pro can track curing and estimate layer thickness of steel fibre reinforced shotcrete.